What's up, everybody? My name is Joe Brown. This is Heresy Financial. If you haven't heard, because it really hasn't made much news lately, there is a hedge fund, Anchorage Capital. They are closing down their flagship fund and returning $7.5 billion to their investors. So today in this video, we are going to talk about number one, why are they closing down? Number two, is this a sign of times to come? Is this the first sign of, hey, the tide is going out and now we start to see who's swimming naked, what kind of bad investments there are out there. And then number three, what it means for markets overall. Ready? Let's dive in. So Anchorage Capital Group is closing down its flagship hedge fund, Anchorage Capital Partners. In total, they are going to be returning about $7.4 billion to their investors. So in the meantime, they have stopped any withdrawals from being able to take place from the hedge fund so that they can unwind their positions and then they will return as much as they can to their investors. Now, while this might sound like a very bad sign, like this is the first sign of just things starting to unwind and collapse, that's not what's going on here. First of all, they've made a positive return on net since their inception in 2003. They've averaged about 9%. And second, it's not like they just recently blew up. They've had lackluster performance over the last couple of years, but this year their fund is up 18%, largely from their position in MGM, which was just recently sold to Amazon. So if they didn't blow up and they're doing fairly well, why are they closing down? Well, in the words of their CEO, Kevin Ulrich, in this current market where indiscriminate access to capital, elevated equity market multiples, default rates near record lows, and central bank policies supportive of risk assets, we believe that the asset liability structure of ACP is not best suited to take advantage of opportunities in today's market environment. Now, this looks like somebody just complaining about their short positions not performing well, and you might think that's the case given the rumors going around about Anchorage Capital having 4 million puts on AMC. But if we look at the details, of the filings, that's not exactly accurate. You can see here in their 13F from June, they had a position which was worth 4 million shares short of AMC through the use of puts, which means that's 40,000 contracts, 40,000 puts, not 4 million puts. Further, when we look at their next 13F for September, you can see that that position is nowhere on their filing, meaning they closed that position out a long time ago. So number one, no, this is not the first domino to fall. This is not the sign of an impending collapse as a result of the taper and easy money getting withdrawn from the system. Number two, for anybody who is hoping that this is good news for AMC, I'm sorry, they closed this position out a long time ago. This will have no effect. But number three, I would like to focus a little bit more on what the CEO, Kevin Ulrich said. In this current market, we have indiscriminate access to capital. We have elevated equity market multiples. We have default rates near record lows and central bank policies that are supportive of risk assets. Essentially what he's describing here is a market where it's extremely difficult for the wasting of resources to result in failure. This makes the problem or the job of capital allocation extremely difficult because let's just say hypothetically, we have a free market so we can understand the job of a capital allocator. Let's say, completely free market and you have $100 to invest. If you know what you're doing and you invest properly, you allocate that $100 to a project or a person or a business that does well with that $100, what is the net result to you? You get more than $100 back. And as you continue to perform your role as a capital allocator and you continue to be successful at that and allocate your capital to the best best projects, your result will be you continue to get more and more capital that you are able to then allocate. This means that on one side, the system is designed in a way that capital allocators will increasingly have more capital to allocate if they are successful at it, if they do a good job at that capital allocation. And this is precisely how we would want the system to work, right? 
because the one you want to have the most capital and the one you want to be making the decisions about how to allocate that capital is exactly the same person who is the best at allocating that capital, who knows how to avoid projects that destroy wealth and reward projects that create more wealth. And you might say to that, well, hey, there's so much luck in the system, so why should somebody get rich just because they put money in something that happened to blow up? Well, okay, let's say there's a lot of luck. Then what will happen as this process repeats? Eventually, the, if it's pure luck, it'll play the other way and there will be losing projects. There will be lost money, which removes capital from those people and leaves them with less resources able to allocate. And so the ones who are left over time with the most capital to allocate are the ones with the best track record of doing it well and the ones who continuously lose capital on allocating it incorrectly are left with the position of not having any resources themselves to allocate which again is exactly the sort of system that we would want the people who are not good at allocating capital end up with no capital to allocate and we don't want them to have any capital to allocate because they're not good at it and they give it to somebody who destroys destroys it. It's a self-correcting system, meaning that, and again, I, I need to emphasize in a purely free market, the ones who become the richest are the ones who are best at allocating capital. But what happens in today's markets? Again, like Mr. Ulrich said, access to infinite capital, extremely low interest rates, default rates at record lows, all supported by fiscal and monetary policy, we have a system that is allocating capital to failure. The central bank and the central government has taken on a role of allocating capital themselves. And all we have to do is look at the last 250, 100, 50 years, even the last 20 years at their record of capital allocation to see, number one, they're not very good at it. So we wouldn't want them to be the ones who are making the decision on how to allocate capital in the economy. Number two, what we see as a result is the prevention of failure. You don't have the bankruptcies. You don't have the defaults. You don't have the failure that's able to wipe out the bad projects, the bad investments, Instead, we are funding that and actively allocating capital to projects, to businesses, to investors, to people who are destroying wealth instead of letting that failure happen so that the ones who are better and more competent can gain the resources themselves in order to further the wealth creation because they're the successful ones at it. Instead of allowing that to happen naturally, we have a top-down centralized system that is pulling resources, pulling capital, and reallocating it to failure. And when you're an investor, whether you're a little guy or you run a seven and a half billion dollar hedge fund, number one, it gets frustrating, and number two, at some point, it might become impossible to successfully invest to be a capital allocator yourself, the more the central government and central bank takes over that position and doesn't let failure fail and continues to fund it and resources and capital and real wealth get wasted and destroyed. And so while this hedge fund shutting down to me is not a sign of impending collapse, is not the first domino to fall, this seems like a much more somber, a much more sad situation to me because you have somebody who's been a very successful capital allocator essentially throwing in the towel, saying, we've created this system we've had these decisions made from the top down that are making it impossible for the successful to continue to find success and are instead propping up the failure and the loss and the destruction as always i really appreciate you guys thank you so much for watching have a great day